Welcome back to me in today's video, I'm going to be playing Suze Guns. In today's video, we're going to be expanding our um, beachfront area to our city. So we're going to be adding in um, some houses, some ho uh, hotel, and then also adding in some commercial, and then also pretty much filling up this entire front part of this midsection of our city. And so um, I started by just putting in a whole lot of trees and some paths and also some commercial um, towards the bottom of this area and then this in-between part, like I said, just filled it with some paths and trees, just made it feel like a park and just a nice place to be around and then just gives us some green space and also makes it to where we don't have any weird buildings popping up because buildings don't generate too well in this game with, um, when combined with hills. So I did that and I also added in some, um, placeable buildings and then some parking too because we're in America. And then I've been wanting to do this for a little while, and that's, um, start putting in some offices. I know that this is just one little office, but it is a start of hopefully some more offices that I'll probably will work on in towards the center city, just because that's where we'll high races are going, and, um, well, offices are pretty tall. And, um, so I want to put them more so in there, but this is just a small little office, just get some jobs, um, get, work on some industrial need, but I wanted to try and get the 3x3 three three office. Um, I eventually got it to fit in well and nicely and how I liked it. Then I just added in some parking. And obviously in game, they don't count just random paths as a park, but I want to add in actual parks so they would consider as parks in the game or for our sims to use. And so I did just add in them. I mean, it's the same ones that I've been using throughout this whole entire midsection, but it's fun. They work. I keep them fairly far enough apart to where it doesn't feel too repetitive, but it, it's repetitive enough. It's pretty much just playgrounds and just some um, walking paths that are all just put together and scrunched up together. But um, then I just continue the paths out to where they um, then connect into other paths or just to other roads and then they can just connect to where you can get pretty much across this entire midsection through well the middle of it. But coming down to the shore, I um, extended our um, shore road or whatever you want to call it a bit more and then I also changed around how I originally had this walking, walkable road set up. Originally I was going to have it go all, pretty much all the way along the waterfront but now I want to put a quarry wall over here, just to level this all off, and so um, I just put in, well it's a quarry wall, and um, I just put it along here in small sections, this is the first section of I believe like three that I did in this video, obviously we'll probably will do some more later on in the series, but for now this is where I'll just leave off in terms of with the wall, but I'll continue obviously doing it in this episode, but um, I wanted along here just some housing, and this would be low density residential. This would probably be, well, it would probably be um, insanely expensive housing. Like I'm talking, maybe in the millions at the high, or that could even be the low. I don't know, honestly.
And then for a hotel, I wanted it to be well, a luxury hotel. So it's going to be right along the waterfront here. And literally right on the waterfront. And this would be probably quite expensive to stay in. But, you know, you got to have it. Especially in a coastal city like this. You would have these insanely expensive hotels to stay in. That are right along the water. They would definitely give you great views though. And um, obviously, like I said in the last episode, I wanted to add in some more libraries. So I did that in that. I forgot to mention that. But um, I added in some parking for it. Uh, actually, I probably would need more. But be, I could maybe have an off-site parking lot for our, their long-term stairs or the ones staying longer. I don't know entirely. Or maybe they could just get away with it. Because, well, we have some pretty good public transit here in Seaside. Um, uh, well, then I just fill in the parking lot a bit more. Um, added in paths, trees, decorate up the whole place. Um, also added in some activities for the guests to do, like volleyball. And also they can obviously go to other places. Made it also feel like to where you can walk along the wall, even though you necessarily can't. Which, I wish that you could at least for this variation, but you can't on this one. And this is the one I chose. And I wanted to stay like this, which it's unfortunate. And along with adding to the waterfront, I also wanted to add to this midsection here. But I think it's a commercial. Um, didn't really do that in the other parts just because, well, um, we are right next to residential, so I didn't want to do that there. Because uh, this road, it goes from directly in the middle to, like, being on the low part. So um, I didn't want to entirely do that there just because it's the residential there. So I didn't want to bring in too many people to that area. But here it's fine because it's commercial and not also a hospital. But it's fine there because, well... Tons of people are going to be coming here anyways, so it's good for business anyways. But, um, I just made sure everything was connected, it looked nice, um, finishing touches of trees and some other stuff with paths and stuff like that. But after cleaning up the area a bit, um, I have a close area done. But I do hope you've enjoyed it. Have a like, subscribe. I do hope to see you next one. Bye.